hey you guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i did do a makeup tutorial on this eye look i really liked how it ended up looking i was going for like a pink halo eye look and that's just what i got so i started off by priming my eyelids with this concealer by elf it's the camel concealer then i'm taking this modern modern renaissance palette and i'm taking the shade burnt orange and I'm just applying that as my transition color and it doesn't really matter where you apply this just apply it everywhere I guess on your crease and then also on your inner crease just because it's a transition color so at the end you're you're hardly gonna see it so yeah just apply it on your crease <laughs> Then going back to the same palette, I'm taking the shade Love Letter. And for this step, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it all over my eyelid. And then just going to blend it out um, to my crease. And I just keep repeating this until I feel like I have enough pigment on my eyelid that I like. Also for this eye look, I am taking different palettes just because I couldn't find one palette with all these colors that I wanted so take whatever shades you have similar to this to achieve this look also I'm doing a voiceover because Jose was in the room and he was being extremely loud so I couldn't talk in this video but hopefully this kind of just works out then I'm going to go with my Morphe times Jaclyn Hill palette in Bling Boss, I believe, and taking Rockstar. And for this shade, I just wanted something to deepen up my crease area, and I'm taking this on my outer crease and my inner crease. And I'm also kind of going to connect them connect them in like the middle crease area to make like a halo eye Also for this part, I'm taking like a smaller blending brush. That way I can just be a little bit more precise in the area that I'm putting the shadow at. That way it doesn't get like too muddy. Not too muddy, but just it doesn't get muddy. Then going back to the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking this other shade. I don't know what it's called, but this is kind of pointless, but I'm just using it as a base color. That way it can just lighten up the middle of my eyelid. It's not necessary, but you can... I just used it um, for a base for my shimmer. For the shimmer, I'm taking the Aurora Lights palette from Beach Cosmetics and taking the shade Magical. And I'm just going to go ahead and use... Um, this Mario Badescu spray so I can spray it on my flat brush and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in the middle of my eyelid and just going to repeat this until I feel like I have enough pigment on there and then going ahead and going back and just blending out the edges Then going ahead and taking the Modern Renaissance palette and going back with Love Letter. I feel like I lost that kind of shade in my eye eyelids. So I just went ahead and reapplied that. And then I'm just taking any kind of brown. I didn't really like this kind of shade. I 
felt like I wanted more of a burgundy deeper shade if that makes sense but just using any kind of darker eyeshadow I'm just deepening up deepen, deepening up my outer crease and also my inner crease area I didn't add too much I kind of liked the pinky tones that's kind of what I was going for so I just added a little bit And then I went ahead and reapplied that magical shimmery color because I feel like I lost it as well when I was blending. Then for a topper, I used this ColourPop Super, so Super Shock Shadow in the color Ritz. And taking my finger and just applying it over where I put the um, magical shade on. I really like this. This is more of a topper kind of shadow, which makes it look super pretty out in the in the sun. It makes it more glittery. And then for this step, I'm just retaking all the colors that I used on my, um, my eyelids and just applying them on my lower lash line. So using that orange as my transition, I'm just putting that again as a transition I guess you would say and then that pink color again and then also going with that like chocolate color for this one I just put it on I guess my outer outer lash line and then I'm also kind of connecting it um, to the top. Then going to use that shimmery magical pink color and putting it in the middle of my lower lash line. That way it could be kind of cohesive to the top. Then taking the Morphe palette and using Bling Bling. And this is for the in inner corner. Yeah, the inner corner. That's tear duct, I guess. I don't know. But just applying it there. Then for bronzing, I'm using this Wet n Wild bronzer. I didn't think I was going to like this bronzer, but I ended up really liking it. Um, just because it has shimmer in it, so I thought it was just gonna look great like too much Too much shimmer on my face, but it's more of a subtle subtle shimmer Yeah, so it just looks really nice like you have a glow within Then taking any kind of peachy blush this one I got from my BH no not my BH but my BoxyCharm box and just applying it on my cheeks and also a little bit on my nose because I feel like I was kind of looking too white. It's my foundation. And then for my lashes, I'm using um, hashtag Fuego from Eiffel Essentials. Really recommend their lashes. Really like them and they're super affordable. I'll leave their link down below. This is my first time using these lashes and I really liked how they look. They were more of like a wispier lash. Then going ahead and applying some mascara to my lower lashes. For highlight, I'm using this little sleek makeup palette. I ended up using both the champagne color and that purpley pink color and just combining them both. And I'm, apply I'm applying some on my cheekbones and also a little bit on my eyebrows. Not on my eyebrows, but my lower eyebrow area.
then on the tip of my nose and then the bridge of my nose And then for my lips, I'm taking this Milani Matte Lipstick in Matte Naked in the number 61. It's more of a like nudie pink, which I liked for this eye makeup. Then I'm just going to go ahead and apply some um, nude lip gloss. This one's from Kiss Me. And that is it, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, subscribe if you're not if you're not already and like the video if you did enjoy watching it and I will see you in my next one. Bye you guys.